The McGillivray's warbler is a relatively unexceptional bird in the mountains where it's typically found. We're very clearly not in the mountains. I'm Shane, this is Beaver Hill Bird Observatory, and welcome to Bird Bites. A lot of the range maps you see on field guides aren't necessarily incredibly clear-cut. There are events which can sometimes drive birds from one region into another, such as the fact that several mountains in Jasper right now are on fire. Yay! Birds don't like fire or smoke, and as the smoke drifts eastward towards Edmonton, it will push a curtain of montane birds toward us. That's where this McGillivray's warbler probably came from. But those mountains do raise a much more interesting point about the taxonomy of these sort of birds mainly that they typically serve as the divide between eastern and western counterparts. Very often speciation events will occur along that mountain corridor precisely because the mountains represent both a habitat and geographical barrier. In other words, it's some sort of boundary that prevents gene flow between two populations, allowing them to eventually diverge in two different directions. The McGillivray's warbler and its eastern counterparts, the morning warbler, are extremely closely related and will freely hybridize in the small region where their ranges overlap. However, for the most part, you'll only find mornings east of the mountains and McGillivrays west of them. The same is true for slate-colored and Oregon junco, subspecies of the dark-eyed junco, or myrtle and Audubon's warbler, subspecies of the yellow-rumped warbler. It's also true for one of my personal favorite warblers, the black-throated green, and its western counterpart, the Townsends. All these groups and populations are very closely related, but because of the physical boundary of those mountains, have diverged enough that they are considered separate groups. Which, depending on which definition you're looking at, may or may not actually make them different species. It's complicated, okay? So hybridization is a thing that, that happens between species, even though apparently it's supposed to be genetically distinct. Don't worry about it, biology's hard. The point is, mountains and their associated habitats are very important biologically, both because they represent a very unique habitat that can't be replicated anywhere else, and because they serve as a barrier creating divisions between existing species. 